Welcome back to Project 613. And for today's mitzvah, we will continue learning some more details about the biblical obligation to pray every day. Now, until now, we were learning about the details of prayer as it applies to each individual, even when they pray in private. But there is another whole element to prayer, and Maimonides tells us that this is actually the ideal way of praying, and that is to daven in synagogue with a minion. And what that means is that according to Halacha, if there is a community of people, a town where there is a group of Jews living, they are actually obligated to get together and raise the funds to build a synagogue where people can gather together and pray with a minion. This is because prayer with a minion is considered so much more potent, so much more powerful, and the prayers, when recited with a minion, are always accepted on high. There are also certain elements of prayer that can only be recited during the min if there is a minion, for example, Kaddish, or the Kedusha, Baruch Hu, and so on. These cannot be said when a person davens in private, or if there is no minion. These can only be said if there is a minion in the synagogue. An additional element of prayer that can only be included when there is a minion is the reading of the Torah, which takes place during the prayers on a Shabbos morning, Shabbos afternoon, on Monday, and on Thursday. Now, the interesting thing about the Torah reading and it being included in the service is that the actual institution to read the Torah three times a week actually predates the organized prayer the way we have it today. Because as we learned previously, the structure of prayer the way we have it today, you know, with a minion and with the morning, afternoon, and evening services really only started at the time of Ezra, some 2,500 years ago. But the institution of reading the Torah publicly, this actually is here from the time of Moses. It was Moses, Moshe Rabbeinu, who established the practice that the Jewish people should read the Torah three times a week on Shabbos, on Monday, and on Thursday. And it was because he said that it shouldn't even go by three days without hearing the words of the Torah. So ever since the time of Moses, Jews were gathering to read the Torah. It's only later when prayer became organized in the way we have it now that the reading of the Torah was included within the service while we are davening as well. Now, when we read the Torah, we are all familiar with the weekly Torah reading, with the weekly sedra. But the Rambam tells us that back in the day, there were actually two different practices of how the Torah was divided. And it wasn't always read in this following the same uh, order the way we read it today. Rather, there were two different customs. There was one custom which is similar to the way we do it today, where each sedra is divided by the week, and each by reading one sedra each week, we conclude the Torah within a year. But there was another cycle which would actually divide it in smaller portions, and they would finish the entire Torah only once in three years. The accepted practice, however, is the way we know it today, where the Torah is completed every single year, and on Simchas Torah, we complete it, and then we start again from Bereshis, once again from the beginning. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.